Hello, buddy. Welcome back. Time for us to break into the capital. This is probably going to be a um, somewhat shorter episode than the rest. There's not really a lot that I want to do. I could, we could go and do the sealed tunnel, but um, I'm fairly convinced. I just don't want to do that yet because there's no point. Uh, if this ends up being less than five minutes, then we'll go in there. <clears throat> so if the video says sealed tunnel, that means I decided to change my mind because we ended up being too quick. In any case, we're going to pretty much be heading straight east for the beginning of this video. There is a physic ingredient we want to pick up. A couple of giants to defeat. We're going to see our old friend Bogart. And we have our first, I want to call it a draconian sentinel, which is like an upgraded version of the tree sentinel as we've already been fighting. Um, you guys will see what I mean. It is unpleasant to fight. Lutl should come in handy for that anyway, though. So we're probably going to get another level by the end of this episode, which is real nice. Let's uh, clear some of this away. I don't want any of this following me. Careful of that, because it's going to want to try and cast death on you. Nobody wants that. I need some stamina real bad. That's why we're getting joints up. See, this is where we're into the world of DPS is starting to outweigh perfect efficiency. And then this is what we're up here for. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh my god. I'm here for this. Give it to me. Yes. Twiggy Cracked and Crimson Crystal Tear. Twiggy Cracked is pretty good. Um, if you decide you want to do like a suicide run type um, manoeuvre, so let's say you just want to grab an item, you don't want to deal with the enemies there, uh, you can pop that and then when you die you won't drop any of your runes, so. Um, it's a nice little preparation item, pretty useful to have. Um, so now we should be able to see across here, can we see them all? There are three giants out there, I can't see any of them. We have to take them on before we do anything else, so. We're going to make our way up. There's one close combat one and two archers, if I remember rightly. And they are firing at... Oh, I'm trying to march into here. Another scene that I really like, I have to say. They're aiming for me now, though. It's going to get me. Oh, my God. I don't know how I survived that. I'll take it, though. Oh. There's the melee friend. There we go. So that's going to do with the second archer. It's just easier this way, in my opinion. Not a stagger, it's gonna breathe fire. Ah, yes. Uh, so, this is an enemy that actually <laughs> we're gonna be thankful that we bought rocks for. So, this one, then, if you wanna knock this one over, uh, you have to hit its wrists, look, and see that they don't have armor on, but its, it's ankles do. Ever there was proof everybody's supposed to have a ranged attack? It's right there. Why can't I get your crit? That's not fair. This should be evidence, in my opinion. By now, every character should have a strong ranged attack. It's literally the entry fee to the capital. Now we can get the crit. Really? 
Really? Okay, so now that we've got everything cleared, a few things that we just want to kind of um, sort out before we go and deal with the with the Sentinel. First up, down here is where Bogart is going to be. So we're going to just going to go visit him so that we can um, just kind of get the last part of his quest line before his untimely end. Uh, there is a crab down here that can inflict death, so be careful of the crab. Um, pretty sure it comes up near the loot. Where is it? thought there was something in the middle. Anyway, here's our boyo. So he's telling us about Dungy, yeah? That was crazy. Uh, purchase. We got um, Bored Crab now instead of Boiled um, Prawn, which is greatly reduces damage negation for time. I haven't tried it out to see how good that is. If anybody uses that a lot, let me know if it's worth it. Um, he'll stay there now until uh, the end of his quest line, and we'll get the bell bearing when that happens, so no real need to worry. Where is it? There it is. I was sure a crab came out of here. Maybe it's only when Dung Eater arrives. Interesting. Um, and whilst we're down here as well, we're just going to tag um, one of two graces. Just because it's convenient for us to have this available later. And then that way we don't have to keep on coming past the, uh, the giants when we come down here. Statue here. Um, if you want the loot, there's a rune bear just up the hill a little bit. And that's what you have to use to break it. I'm not interested. I think it's like some smithing stone fives. I could be slightly wrong. We're just going to get in here. Oh, you followed me in. Wasn't expecting that. Level 108, and I don't even feel like we're partially strong. <laughs> Which is hilarious, really. So we're just going to take the grace and head back out. And then as we come over this way, we should see air toll. Um, I don't believe we can use it to shortcut into the capital. It doesn't take us high enough. Would have been a cool little cheeky bit, but they didn't allow that for us. So here we are at the tough bit. Let's just pop that, because we might as well. So this is going to be painful. Luckily, so far, there's never two of these. Mega added in DLC, right? Oh, come on. It always does that. Whenever I do like a three, the third one always seems to hit. Uh, this also has two phases, so it'll have, it'll have a phase in a second where it decides to power up. Which is probably going to happen very soon, here we go. There's some lightning and we have to be careful of this. Oh man! It's going to get me. Don't you want to target Noodle slightly? Ah, there we go, that'll do. Now just get a volley off and I'm good. So yes, be careful of the big one. It is uh, not friendly. Before we head in.
Can we actually use this to get in? That'd be hilarious. I've never tried it. No. <laughs> it's like it tries to give you a little bit of hope that you can sneak past. But it is not to be. Let's check the other side. I wonder if there is a way to sneak past it. They do usually give you a way to get around, get, get around a lot of the roadblocks. Where's this pointing to? Let's just point straight down the cat. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so anyway, inside we go. And it probably has worked out kind of where I thought, 10 to 15 minutes. Which is fine. So we don't need to squeeze the sealed tunnel in. I don't know why they put a grace here. Um, there are no enemies between this grace and the next one. So this is probably here for some story reason. And you know what? We haven't spoken to Melanie yet, have we? I think there was a space where we were supposed to do it earlier and I completely forgot. So we're just going to head on in. No loot in here. Don't think there's a secret under the lift. No. And here we are in the capital. Quite like this area. I like the atmosphere and the music. And so I am happy to say I'll be bringing the whole area to you guys shortly. Probably going to be three episodes. I think that's what it was the last time I did this area. Um, and I don't think it's going to be any shorter this time around. Where's the grace? There. So, tiny bit of orientation then. That's going to be a shortcut for later. Uh, the boss that we want to fight is in... Alright, that's the main street. So it's going to be slightly left. It's going to be that building? Oh no, there's you can just about see the ramps above my head. So it's that building. And the boss after that is in there, which I guess... Oh yes, there's the boss room. And that's actually where we end up fighting the last boss, just that way. Um, we're not that close to the end of the game yet, though. We've got to do a lot of stuff where we can actually get in there. Uh, the dragon basically acts like a bridge. That lower wing you can see just in front of me, we're going to be going up that as well. So, uh, yeah. There's a, there's a lot to this place. There's a ton of stuff on top of these roofs here, which can be a bit of a pain. I'll try and cover all those for you as well. Don't jump off onto that. It's not going to be a very good shortcut for you. Finishing off then, let's uh, get this one level that I have available. It is going to be one. Just a tiny bit amount away from two levels. Ah, here she is. I thought she was going to come. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement. And thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you, I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. It makes it sound like we're so close to the end. And yet there is still so far to go. One stamina, or loads. That's five. Five FP. Once that hits 220 FP, we no longer need any more mind. Which I believe is like 36 mind. They kind of changed how mind worked. And it used to be 40, but then they changed it a little bit. Once that's done. All we really care about is vigor and endurance until we hit some caps and then the intelligence can get a bit more damage. We're looking good though. I think we're looking good. 
blue bar is getting there. And so, with that being the case, it'll be the end of this episode. In the next one, we're going to start Lanedale, the royal capital.